here we are, back in the meeting room at the port of Norway, man, working on boats. Week two, and uh, well, technically round two, I suppose, as well. Um, the GKV Titan has displayed here. Took entirely too much time to do that. I nailed it with the first go though, I didn't have to knock any out and do it again. So, the GKV Titan. Um, I'm billing it as the largest uh, sailboat the Grey Knights built. Um, it's about 90 blocks from here to the very tip of the back, so that's 20 blocks longer than the Victory over here. I do wonder if such a boat would require an additional mast. Um, these masts are much bigger than that, and there's going to be limits on what stresses can, what the stresses can be, uh, before masts are simply going to break. Um, But yeah, it's it's really just a recreation in much stronger, in a much stronger theme, closer to the um, uh, Grey Knight style than the Victory was. Although I, I did make some tweaking to get the Victory a little closer, putting in the stonework and so on. Although I'm upgraded to 1.14, I'm reluctant to use blocks that are associated only with 1.14. So I could easily fill up some of the cargo hold space with um, barrels for a start. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a, little, a little reluctant to do that. These have been opened up because I was considering installing three more large guns on the upper gun deck on both sides rather than just having the um, cannon ports. But like the other boat, it's, the interior is pretty much done in a general sense. Um, all of the rooms are in place. Uh, this is the Admiral's quarters. Uh, this would be his day cabin, dining hall, and... Oh. What? Let's see. I'm not sure which around it is. A day cabin? Weird. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've got this laid out right. This would have been like a dining hall, and then his sleeping quarters, and then day quarters. Oh yeah, the day quarters are weird, it's laid out like there's two sections to it. Anyway. Up here we have the Admirals. No, that was the Admirals' quarters below. This is the Captain's quarters, this is the uh, Captain's dining room sleeping quarters, and then the captain's day cabin. These are all based on the Victory's design. Um, I got a little abstract which I think has helped finish the build. I started to include things that um, don't really go along with it. So. There's some unusual stuff, like these fencing fences used to make little curls and stuff, and bits sticking up and so on on the, on the masts. It just gives it character. That's really all I was aiming for. But it's come out fairly well. I don't think I achieved the back I wanted. I was hoping by making the boat larger that I would get closer to the design of the Victory's rear. And uh, 
uh, to be honest, I think I really need to um, Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I would need to adjust it. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Bottom one may not be wide enough, it may just be the top one I need to be leaving out. And then the, well, the middle one, and then the top one maybe one more. See, doing something like that just doesn't really make, make much difference. Well, there it is. Another boat down. I'm hoping that uh, this guy will get underway quite quickly today. And, uh, some very small boats here. I didn't think about it until late, too, too late, but I do have a habit of putting the boats end on to the dock, and they really should go sideways on, like these have been per based. Maximizes the space apart from anything else. But yeah, like the victory sat across like this, totally blocking off like half of the dock. But yeah. That's what I've been up to. That's what I'll be continuing to be up to next week as well. So I'll say adieu for cutting off YouTube. And then I'm cracking with some more work.